Nick830 is no longer friends with typical gamers. Schmeverit, I am right there with you, man. That is how I felt when I heard they broke it off, too. Hi again, guys. And Nick A30 is the most important man in my life. I'm literally married to a man. The reason Nick broke off his lifelong friendship with Typical Gamer is because of a moral disagreement that there really was no getting past for Nick. I don't associate yeah. with people that curse. It's just not yeah. not my thing. You I got Kate from the Family Friendly Guild. Yeah, I, I lost all respect for him, and me and him are never collaborating ever again. I already deleted all the videos of me and him off my channel. And um, I will pursue legal action if he tries to associate with me any further. You heard him right. Typical Gamer was one of five Fortnite YouTubers who have sworn. Really had to knock the cobwebs off that reference. Jesus. I've been drawn back to Fortnite YouTube as of late because recently I've been back in the thick of Fortnite mania again. I swore that game off a while ago with the only exception being a promise I genuinely made to a friend years ago. I said I would play exactly one game of Fortnite with them when Peter Griffin was added to it. I didn't think he ever would be, but you know how that turned out. He was. Holy crap, I'm in Fortnite! So, I re-downloaded the game and spent 80 bucks to skip the battle pass levels and get him instantly. The thing is, around that time, LEGO Fortnite also launched. And I love LEGOs. And it turns out that game mode is actually just fun. So, Fortnite stayed installed and my friends successfully manipulated me into playing normal no-build battle royale. Before I even realized that happened, Fortnite, all of it, was just another game I played on a regular basis. Again, it has been six years since the last time that has happened. But even back then, it was Nick A30's job to play that game. His career has been Fortnite-centric since I was still in high school, when my channel was just starting to get subscribers. He's almost like a father figure to me. And that's really Nick A30's whole angle, right? He wants to be family-friendly, not just for other people's families, but his own. He wants to be able to share his life journey with his kids with the comfort that it's okay for them to watch his stuff no matter how old they are. And I can really respect that about him. Or at least I would if he wasn't a no-swearing Rifter. Nuka, please present the evidence to the jury. What do you look for in a relationship with a guy? Really? Fuck you. Oh, hell oh, man. What do you have, like 500 shit shots? Lucky, bro. Family friendly, positive, Fortnite creator. That's your Twitter bio, Nick. Give me a break. The only thing you create in this world are mean comments. It's heartbreaking, really. He's a fraud who doesn't practice what he preaches, and he needs to be called out for it. Nick has masterfully crafted this narrative around him that he's some sort of saint, and it can't stand. People on Twitter praise this dude like he's as wonderful as getting a clean wipe after poop. People invoke his name as an example to aspire to when scolding people who do curse. Stop cursing. Be more like Nick A30, like he's some paragon of general audience appeal. Flanders believes in God of Jesus Christ. No swearing at all. If at Nick A30 be Flanders, I may be amazed by it. Mean like it would be in hashtag Fortnite. Literally comparing Nick and his behavior to the glory of Jesus Christ. God, does it get more blasphemous than this? For this video and this video only, in the unlikely event that Nick watches it, I will be doing the hardest thing I've ever had to do on camera. I'm not going to swear a single time in this video. Hold me to it. I cannot make any claims whether the evidence I've brought before the court of public opinion today will itself have bad words in it, but in this video, I will be controlling what I can, my own actions. And that's because I'm here to prove that Nick A30 is not family friendly. He is not safe for kids to watch. In fact, he is a terrible influence who will make your kids do evil stuff, like drugs or play Fortnite or drugs. But to make my criticisms, I have to prove that I'm capable of holding myself to the same standard. Just this one time, though. If you can handle this video and want to try your luck at my scarier, even less kid-friendly videos, the card at the end will take you to another one like it. Also, only 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit the bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always undo it later. Now, despite the irrefutable evidence we've presented today, Nick A30's talent at hiding his real self cannot be understated. He has hundreds, perhaps thousands of hours logged streaming, and we only caught him slipping three times. One of which we had to go back to the Stone Age to find. Even if I can't stand him, I gotta respect his ability when I see it. Editor Nuka was at a convention and tried to catch Nick off guard, but unfortunately, he's always prepared. <laughs> Bro, don't swear. Don't swear. <laughs> Wait, who's talking about swearing? <laughs> I'm telling you now, Nick A30 has swearing spider senses. Nuke is not a meek guy. He's muscular, dangerous, and a convicted felon. But at just a glance from the likes of Nick, he was <laughs> running. I can only imagine from a sort of primal fear he probably didn't even know he could feel. Is Nick really the man you want your kids to be looking up to? He manages to keep up his grift almost 24-7, no matter who he's with. His act is so convincing that word of his no swearing policy gets around, where folks like I Show Speed try to sabotage him, but they always underestimate just how crafty Nick is. Holy f 
fucking I can't fucking believe it. I'm fucking talking to fucking Nick 830. Holy he sent me a voice message. Do I listen to it now? Bro, he had to mute his stream. It's literally just 45 seconds of him just saying curse words. <laughs> I don't know. He took a dump and he took a picture of it. I now have that on my lock screen. My goat defends his honor again. It's something I might have said a few years back when I was naive, stupider, and didn't know what this guy was really like behind the scenes. Nick has protocols when engaging with a provocateur like Speed. He mutes the mic, vets the audio, and if it's something he doesn't like, then he bans him. He does his best to cover his tracks too. Legal action is his go-to threat when something like this goes down. You're really taking Speed to court? Oh yes! Oh yes, I am taking him to court i'm gonna sue him for everything he's worth there's no way he thinks that we can collab and he's just gonna swear on my stream and get away with it you could argue that the damage to nick's reputation caused by speed swearing warrants a lawsuit but only if nick hadn't already done that damage himself we know he swears he's not afraid that his status as family friendly will be revoked he's afraid that the world's gonna find out he never had it to start with he is afraid his cover will be blown but no man is an island. Even Nick A30 goes out to Fortnite events outside the safety of his stream and interacts with other people. And from these other people, we have some shockingly different accounts of his character than what he portrays himself to be. IRL, does he, does he curse or not? Well, I once uh, saw Nick A30 at like a Fortnite event and like he walked up to me and he whispered in me, he said, just so you know, you're a fucking pussy. I couldn't believe it. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. That might be the worst kind of swearing Nick could have done. The swears that we've caught him red-handed saying were certainly foul, but we have all made mistakes. And his are big ones, but still mistakes in the heat of our emotions. But here, if these allegations are true, there were no cameras on. Nick was just being his authentic self, and he knew t -Few would be there. He struck up a conversation with the guy like everything was sweet, and then as a parting gift, Nick swore at t -Few. He swore as an insult with vitriol and targeted hatred in his heart. He potentially ruined the rest of Tfue's time there, leaving him spiraling on how anyone could be so cruel as to call another person an effing p-word. Unfortunately, that's not even the most vulgar and inappropriate thing Nick has done in private. Because I walked into a barn, yeah, and there was like just like 10 Victoria's Secret models all up on him. He was like, suck this fucking dick. What the fuck? And I was like, what the fuck? Can you believe he would do that? Like, what do you even need 10 models for, man? That's just pure greed. It is nice of you to keep them employed. I do respect anyone who creates jobs, especially in this economy. But you don't need that many. Save some for the rest of us, Nick. I know that you're ruggedly handsome and it's hard for you not to trip over all the people who would love to bed you. But if these stories turn out to be true, this witness testimony is damn it in a legal sense so it's not a swear word but of course like clockwork nick was quick to say there would be legal ramifications for tfue just because he had the courage to speak out on this i'm here to respond to the tfue allegations guys uh the tfue allegations are all false he has falsified the claims and he's next up on the sue list um i'm gonna i'm gonna send him a cease and desist and uh if he refuses i'm coming after that kick money and he's gonna have to you know pay up millions if he's willing to do that I'm willing to do it too. If he's willing to slander my name in the name of family friendly. Nick is all talk. That talk doesn't contain any swearing, at least in public, but that boy sure can yap. And it's all in an effort to scare off whistleblowers like me. The danger is very real. People will warn those they love about cursing near or around Nick, fearing for their friend's safety. Hey, no cursing near Nick, or he will have his mods do stuff to you. Heck, you saw firsthand what that man was about to do to Nuka. I'ma say it, I bet Nick A30 could be tried at the Hague for some of the stuff he's probably done to people who cursed on his stream. So that's it then. He's just untouchable? We can't do anything? No. The thing is, no matter how clever the plan, and no matter how well planned the deception, any person can only live a lie for so long. Pieces of the real you will always poke to the surface, screaming to be let out. And unlucky for Nick, I've been on his trail. This man can't help but show his true colors. On August 17th, 2022, the official Fortnite account announced that Eminem was taken over the Icon radio station that you can listen to in-game. Nick A30 responds, when I listen to music with cursing, Eminem is my go-to. This, this was a strong break in the pattern. Not only has Nick admitted to hearing curse words in songs, but he seeks it out? His fans were understandably outraged. You listen to music with cursing? You changed, Nick. You are evil. I am a father of two kids, and recently my kids have been on TikTok, and have seen a TikTok where somebody exposed you for listening to music with swear words in it. My kids are very sad to hear that their favorite streamer listens to music with swearing in it. Can you imagine? 
imagine being a father in that situation, having that terrible but necessary conversation with your kids that they can no longer watch their favorite Fortnite streamer? They'd be confused and lost as to why. It would be their first experience with grief. They would ask what happened to Nick A30. But the truth is, nothing happened to him. They did not lose Nick. The Nick they thought they knew never even existed. But the implications of his tweet go so much deeper. The Eminem station is one you can listen to in the game. Music that Nick admits to knowing has swears in it. So when he played Fortnite on stream after that station got added, what do you think he was exposing his audience to? That's right, swearing. This situation quickly faded from people's minds, but I don't think you can exaggerate how serious this is. Nick has spent over half a decade embedding himself in culture and in parents' minds as the safe streamer, the family-friendly guy. People trust him to do the right thing in that position, a position of power, and power can always be abused. I think sneaking Eminem cursing into his streams was a very incognito version of Nick A30's ultimate plan. It was a dry run, so to speak. In this instance, he has plausible deniability. After all, the music is just in the game. It's not like it's Nick doing the swearing, it's those Satanist developers over at Epic Games doing it. That was nearly two years ago, and I fear we may now be at a turning point. On November 7th, 2023, just four short months ago, another streamer named Courage posted a clip of him having a neat little play in Fortnite. Good for him! Courage is supposedly friends with Nick, but I have no doubt that if Courage ever stepped out of line, Nick will deal with him as ruthlessly as anyone else who got in his way. I mean, just listen to what he said in response to this. It sweats like you that make me want to start cursing on Fortnite. Oh my god. Things have escalated faster than I anticipated. Nick is no longer hiding behind the implication of swearing. He is signaling his intent to start doing it. This is it. This is the turning point I was talking about. Nick is about to do something big. Something that's gonna change the world. The reason I'm sounding the alarm on Nick A30 now is because something big is coming. And if we aren't already, we are about to be out of time. We need to be more vigilant now than ever before. Nick's mask is slipping, and when it comes off, I expect him to swear up a storm bigger than Hurricane Katrina. It will be catastrophic for his audience as well as everybody else. But that's just the thing. How much longer do you think you can keep this up, Nick? A week? A month? A year? It doesn't matter, because I'll be there. I'll be ready, always watching, like I have from the very beginning. Sincerely, your former number one fan. You won't win this, and the video got mid-roll ads a while ago, so I'm wrapping up here. Guys, even if it was on a technicality, I didn't swear a single time in this video. Check the replays, I'm not lying. That card I mentioned should be on screen. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Anyways, this has been quite, and never let your guard down, soldier.